and it, it's painful. It hurts. So think about your interactions with people and think about your interactions with the natural world and, and go outside and have a good time. So every year, my wife and I come to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. We actually come usually twice a year, um, off season both times. Uh, and I come and, and spend time writing and spend time paddling and uh, she is a painter and so she does a lot of art and she still does some of her work but we really just love the venue it's just really beautiful and it's usually pretty quiet it's busier now because of COVID which I know seems crazy but everyone's doing stuff in the outdoors and so uh, the Outer Banks is barrier islands that run along the coast of North Carolina and um, they're pretty narrow, uh, wider in some places, but for the most part pretty narrow uh, and just really beautiful, really wonderful. And so something that I wanted to talk about was uh, a video that I wanted to make was the election is going on right now. So it's uh, the middle of October and but early voting has already started and so I had planned on on doing a video uh, if you're if you care about the environment if you're visiting my channel you probably are playing or working or adventuring in the outdoors and you already care about the environment so I, I wanted to talk about here are the things that the current administration has done that are bad for the environment and here are the things that the next administration or the pending possible next administration would do that are better for the environment like join the Paris Accords or join back into the Paris Accords um, but I don't think anyone who's watching my channel is undecided I don't think anyone is really undecided I, I kind of can't figure out the undecideds in in this country right now because we're so polarized um, we have an ever widening gap between classes and incomes and beliefs um, and I, I just I realized that it was gonna serve the video was gonna serve no point and I feel like people are just overwhelmed with that stuff and instead I decided that I want to talk about sort of how I experience the those ever widening gaps between people in the United States it may be in the world, but I, I don't know because I live in the United States. But the ever-widening gap between people and uh, how, sort of how that affects me and makes me feel. Uh, and so when, when I see... That is super cool. That is all just fish jumping. That is amazing. So when I see someone that doesn't find that amazing, I wish I had planned that, but I didn't. Um, when I find that someone isn't awed by nature, when I find that someone throws their trash on the ground, the one time I want to find trash I can't, which is a good thing, uh, that there's that ever widening disconnect between people and the world around us. And it just sort of makes me feel like uh, my values are not shared by the bulk of the population and that's really upsetting like I, I don't need to be in a group to fit in but I don't want to feel like such an oddball that because I care about the planet and I care about the environment that I'm the freak and and so it's disheartening to me when I see people not treating other people fairly or the way they would want to be treated, which is sort of how I live my life. I live my life trying to treat people the way I want to be treated, with respect, with dignity, and I feel like everyone has that right. And even if they disagree with me, you have the right to disagree with me, um, but you don't have the right to belittle me for my beliefs or ridicule me for my beliefs. I guess that's belittling me, but there's nothing wrong with people having different beliefs uh, but 
we just we need to treat each other better when we're discussing them and we're just we're not doing that um so that's sort of my thought process and it's really disheartening to me and i remember after the last presidential election just feeling like i'm alone i'm the only person that gives a shit about the environment i'm the only person that thinks that it's ridiculous to think that we can plan on never-ending growth in a closed system that's ridiculous that's crazy right but i feel like i'm the only one that that views it that way um right now in north carolina i feel like i'm my wife and i are the only ones taking uh covid precautions as numbers are climbing and climbing and climbing climbing and it's that same sort of disconnect as the things that i want to do i can't do because of x and x may be covid or x may be i can't go sailing because i can't rent a boat because of covid or i can't um drive my truck across the country because there's no fuel which is not a thing that has happened yet but it will you know and it's that failure to change to adapt to an ever-changing environment meanwhile we're the ones that are changing it i'm getting off a little bit on a rant here but we're the ones that are destroying our environment where we need to be working with our environment and all the tools are here to be doing things better for the planet and for each other but but we don't want to do that because of profit and that i just can't wrap my brain around that and so that's where my brain is and so i didn't want to harp on the election but i did think it was important to tell people sort of how i feel and if you're here watching my videos i hope you share those same values i really do because most of the time i feel pretty alone in terms of the things that i view you know i have my bubble of people like everyone does other instructors other outdoors people who view things the way i do but then when i look at the news which i try really hard to not do lately and see what the greater population thinks or does it's just incredible to me how different people's views are to mine and the people in my bubble and and it it's painful it hurts so think about your interactions with people and think about your interactions with the natural world and and go outside and have a good time i guess that's it i guess that's all i've got i've got two more days two more full days to enjoy the outer banks and then i sort of have to go back to work and and not teach for a living which hopefully will be coming to an end in 6 months or so but yeah so that's my rant on the state of my world and the my place in it i hope you have a good day i hope you do something fun i hope i'll see you outside